Music Air Jazz. Good evening. We've been using the expression modern jazz for some 20 years now, and it inevitably poses the question, how modern is modern? Well, tonight's answer, very modern indeed. Meet the sensational Cannonball Adderley Sextet.
That is what I call an opener. Work song. It's a jazz standard now. It was composed by the cornet player in the band, Nat Adderley. Apart from Nat Adderley, of course, there's Julian Cannonball Adderley on alto. And the front line is completed by Charles Lloyd, who plays tenor sax there and later on a little flute. There's a pianist called Joe Zabinol on piano. He originally came from Vienna, but uh, he's been with the Adderley band for some time now. And at the back, the last word, I think, in Rhythm Men, Sam Jones and Louis Hayes. Charles Lloyd was the composer of the tune you're going to hear next. It's called Song My Lady Sings.
Charles Lloyd's composition, the song My Lady Sings. That's as pretty a jazz waltz as you'll hear anywhere. It was a rather nice thing happened a little earlier on this evening when we were having a camera rehearsal when the producer of this program, Terry Hennybury, said, Cannonball, what are you going to play next? And somebody, I don't know, one of the studio staff around here said, I want to hear Temptation. Well, he didn't get Temptation. I'm all for the old jazz standards, but they have, let's face it, some of them had their day, the old war horses. They're now in honorable retirement. Tunes like Sweet Sue and Avalon, that sort of stuff. But there's one uh, old war horse, one old lady who's... Uh, got a nice chord sequence and she's survived. In fact, she's back now in the hands of Cannonball and the rhythm section. Her name, Poor Butterfly. Butterfly, paid by 
Julian Cannonball Adderley. The Cannonball name, he tells me, comes from his school days. It's actually Cannibal, originally. They called him that because he was so fond of eating. Eating what, I said. Oh, just eating, he replied. Well, just a thought. It's strange to think that if fate had decreed otherwise, we in Britain might have had Cannonball Hayes, and over there in America they might have had Tubby Adderley. Well, that was only a thought, too. Let's move on to the next number from the sextet. It's called, you know it well, Jive Samba.
Dan Jones and Louis Hayes, Joe Zavino, Charles Lloyd and the brilliant Adderley Brothers bring this program to a close from the BBC Television Theatre. Join us for the next edition of Jazz 625. Meanwhile, good night and back to the Adderleys for a playoff. ミュージックエアネットワークジャズ。Good evening. I sometimes think there are two kinds of music in the world, the kind that the musicians like to play and the kind that the public likes to hear. The two very seldom seem to meet. But when the music is sincere, it always communicates to someone. And someone tonight means the people assembled here in the BBC television theatre and you, the other side of the screen. It certainly includes me. Meet the brilliant and confident guest stars we have for you this evening. The Cannonball Adderley Sextet. <laughs>
Yusuf Latif's number called The Weaver. Cannonball Adderley is on alto, his brother Nat Adderley on cornet, Charles Lloyd on tenor, and later on a little bit on flute, you'll probably find him, Joe Zavinol on piano, and Sam Jones on bass. That leaves one man, the drummer. He's featured in this next number. The tempo is presto, to use an Italian expression. The title, Bohemia After Dark, and the drummer, Louis Hayes. <laughs>
in Bohemia after dark. A drum solo that never once stopped swinging. Some of them do. It was in 1959 that pianist Joe Zavinul left his native Austria to try his luck in America. First, he became principally concerned with singers. He was accompanist to the late Dinah Washington and for a while to Joe Williams. Then, our own Victor Feldman left the Cannibal Adderley group and he took his place on piano. He's featured now in one of Duke Ellington's more reflective compositions. On the piano, incidentally, the same instrument which Duke himself played in this BBC television theatre just a few weeks ago. He's playing from the black, brown and beige suite Come Sunday.
Joe Dagenor and Stan Jones. Pretty nice combination. Charles Lloyd is a comparative newcomer to the Adelaide Sextet. He's only been with them a matter of months. Before that, he spent three years with the Chico Hamilton group and various other groups before that. He comes originally from California. He's written the next number. Its title is Sweet Georgia Bright. It's no relation to Sweet Georgia Brown, not even the same chord sequence. Georgia, in this case, he tells me, is not the girl. Georgia is the state. Georgia Bright, well, brighter, but it's got a long way to go yet. Anyway, here's the tune, Sweet Georgia Bright.
if you're listening to the music, the vital jazz music of the Cannonball Adelaide Sextet. As I said at the beginning of the program, some music communicates. This did. Join us for the next edition of Jazz 625. Now back to Cannonball for a playoff. <laughs>